So question number 70. P, Q, R and S appeared in a test. And the question is, has P scored more marks than Q? So is P greater than Q? This is what they are asking you to find. So you should get a definite yes or a definite no as the answer. If you are getting a maybe yes or a maybe no, in some case yes, some case no, that means the statements are not sufficient. So you should, you should have a clear idea what you need to look for. If you have a yes or no type data sufficiency question. We have done that in the sessions. So I'm going to start with statement 1. So statement 1 says that the sum of the marks scored by P and Q is equal to the sum of the marks scored by R and S. So what we have is P plus Q is equal to R plus. We have a simple equation with four variables. So do you think is it possible to compare or uh, compare P and Q here? No, it's not possible. Right? It's not possible to compare PA because we have just one single equation. So I'm going to pick some numbers here so that it's easy for you to understand. So let's say I'm picking, let's say P is 2, Q is 3. So P plus Q is 2 plus 3, 5. Here I'm going to pick some different numbers, let's say 1 and 4, okay? See, I'm, I'm just picking random number that satisfies this equation. And in this case, what is the answer you're getting? Is P greater than Q? is 2 greater than 3. That's your question, right? You are getting a no. So in the value you substituted, you are getting no as an answer. Now, ask the question this. Is it always a no? Is it possible to get a yes? Yes, it is possible, right? If you swap the values, let's say I'm keeping P as 2 and Q as 2, there is no other change. The equation is going to be the same itself, right? If I swap the values of P and Q, you are getting a yes. Because is P greater than Q? Yes, it is. 3 is greater than 2. So that means, I just now proved that you will get a yes as well as a no in this uh, for the question stem. For that reason, I could say statement 1 is not sufficient to answer the question. Statement 1, you could uh, you could say that, you could say that it's not sufficient. So option B is eliminated. Option B says that question can be answered by using either statement alone. That is not correct. So that's the reason I eliminate option B. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze statement 2 individually or statement 2 along. The statement 2 says that P plus S, okay, P plus S is more than Q plus R. This is the equation we have. P plus S is more than Q plus R. Do you think, is it possible for you to get a comparison between P and Q? Is it possible? So I'm going to take the same values. Let's say uh, how it works. We can pick some numbers here, okay? So I'm keeping P as uh, 2, Q as uh, 3, S as 4, R as 1, okay? So here, yes, 6 is greater than 4. It is true. Now what is the question here? Is P greater than Q? Is P greater than Q? What is the answer you're getting? Is 2 greater than 3? No. Right? We are getting a no here. Now what happened if I am switching the values between P and Q? Let's say this is 3 and this is R and this is the same. Okay? Yeah. The inequality is the same. 3 plus 4 and this is 2 plus 1. Is 7 is greater than 3. Yes. Now what is the answer you are getting? Is P greater than Q? Yeah. It's a yes. So that means you are getting a yes as well as an. So always keep in mind if you are picking numbers, the first answer you're going to get is going to be either yes or no. But always try to get an opposite answer. That's how you could prove that the statement is not sufficient. Okay. So you should try. I'm not saying always you will be able to prove that uh, both the answer is possible. You should always try. So here, statement 2 all, alone also it's not sufficient because you're getting a no as well as a yes. Now if you combine both the statements, so option A is also not your answer. So if you combine both your answers, you can see that I use the same uh, values, right? So, same values, both conditions are satisfied and we are getting the same, like, you know, different answers. For that reason, option C also, you could eliminate it. Even if I combine both the statements, the same values I'm picking, this is the same values, it is satisfying both the conditions in statement 1 and statement 2 and you are getting different answers. So, even if you combine, you will not get a definite yes or a definite no. So your answer has to be option D is the right answer. 
question cannot be answered even by using the both statement together. Option D is the right answer. Because even if you combine it, always you're going to get either a yes or a no. Both, are, both answers you get. 